we've had fun together two out now for what? Two, two, is it three days? And I am dying to hear what everyone thinks of it. I've not played it. I've seen um, a couple of playthroughs and I really can't make a judgment until I've played it. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think. And in the meantime, I I am with all those people that, uh, that don't have uh, the option of playing it because we are console players. I feel your pain. Um, so in the meantime, hopefully I can just continue with Farm Together 1. It's now Blossom Festival. Two weeks of it. Morning Exiled, how are you going? Happy Thursday. I'm here for all of those that do not have access to Farm Together 2. I feel your pain, my little beauties. And I shall continue on Farm Together 1. <coughs> But I want to know everyone's thoughts and opinions. That I do want to know because, I don't know, I hear pros and cons to the game. I can only base it on what I've seen so far. You do? You think there's a couple of issues though, right? I saw that they did, didn't they do an update today? Wasn't there an update number two? And it'll also be interesting to see you guys that are playing Farm Together too. Remembering the OG. And remember where it started. Hey, Gaiman. Happy Thursday. Hey, Karen. Happy Thursday. And remember where it all started. On the OG farm together. Are you loving it, Karen? Yeah? That's good to hear. SRM Gaiman's loving it too. <clears throat> Have you guys... I, I saw there was a couple of bugs about levelling up. What was, what was that about? About if you get too close to levelling up and leave the game, you might have to go back the whole level and do it again. Has that been cleared up yet? Does anyone know? I know that they did an update today. I just saw on Twitter. I saw on Twitter they did a little update today, but I don't know what that entailed. So, where's my Blossom? Have I put it down? I have. Blossom. Let's go get some Blossom. <coughs> Have you not? Well, Gaming, maybe you um, got to the end of your level without it resetting, but I do hear it has been an issue for a, a couple of people where they got close to their, their level finish and then finished the game, went back, and they'd lost the whole, the whole section, the progress. There's no bonus. There will be. They'll put that in. They have to. There has to be a bonus for going on someone's farm and helping. That's the whole point of this game, is to farm together. Uh, your progress of the level was gone, so the yellow around the stone... Ah. Uh, storage is way harder to manage, too. Okay. <clears throat> I think they may have just added a few extra things in the game to make it a bit more... What, harder? I guess? No tractor use for five minutes, really. Can't you just go... Can't you just... Forgive me, I've not... I don't know all about the game like you guys, but... Can't you just go put more gas canisters down? Or, or are they costing medals like this game? Talk to me about this gas situation, because I'm really intrigued. Obviously, when we started this game, <clears throat> we all have issues with gas, right? We all need gas. We all run out. We can't afford to buy a petrol station. Is it just the same just for number two because they're not gonna they're not gonna make it that easy Do you know what I mean there's got to be a challenge do they I hear medals <laughs> I hear medals are quite hard to come by as well like medals are not so easy oh what my bad I wasn't paying attention it was it was the thought of just well, while I'm doing that, then I might as well empty my bloody, empty my um, inventory. So do you guys like the idea of the town? What do you mean, Gaiman? You can, you can already do that on this game, though, no? On this game, friends can do certain things. Or do you mean something a bit different? You're on the fence about the town, are you? <clears throat> I mean, luckily 
from what I've seen, when you guys are jumping backwards and forwards from the town to your farm, the, the load screen's quite quick, right? Hey, Confused, by the way. How's it going, love? You all right? The loading screen's pretty quick, so it doesn't seem like it's um, upsetting your gameplay. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, so not loading your farm up with these shops obviously is going to free up space, right? For you to have more uh, farms and crops and things. But I, I do like, I mean, <clears throat> we did talk about it a couple of years ago, a year ago, whatever, that it would be nice to have a separate section. I guess they just wanted to maybe introduce other characters into the game without it upsetting your farm. So I don't know whether it's a good thing to have it separate or or not. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see about console. I mean, you've seen me trying to get on someone's farm on this game. It's bloody impossible. It takes like five minutes of load time. I swear to God it does. Or not even load time, but... I don't know, collection time? <coughs> It's going to feel weird playing this game after you guys have played Farm Together too. It's going to be very strange. I feel like I'm a little bit left out. But I'm going to continue with Farm Together 1 until I can get my hands on the bloody thing. At least. Uh, let me go see what my warehouse is doing. Oh, we can level it up. Who wants egg? <laughs> Karen's jumped. Karen's back to Farm Together 1 for now. Uh, I didn't see what time uh, my ban gap, uh, my in-game ban action is. You'll have to keep me posted, peeps. I think I think they're going to be on top of um, any issues with that game. They're not going to want to upset us. I think they know how hardcore it, we are. It takes medals to level your warehouse and garages. I think we need to think about maybe end game stuff on that game and maybe you know we get to a point in this game where you're inundated with medals maybe that's why they've done it maybe yeah so I can set my farm so all my friends can do what they want on my farm so well you can do that on here though Gaiman what does Gaiman mean when he says things like that because I thought you you can do you can just open your farm up here though and you can make your friends special people in this game where you can just let them do whatever they want so what do you mean what's the difference i've not played it so you're gonna have to help me or someone will like what does gaming mean when he says that he can set his farm up so all his friends can do what they want when you can just do that here you're making it sound like it's something new uh <clears throat> Oh, confused. I hope you liked them. Yeah, I saw that exiled. That may that may change though. I imagine that may go bigger, more levels you get possibly. I imagine this 16 tiles for the fish is a thing that may change. Uh, surely my tractor time is up now. <laughs> confused. Yeah, of course you can, uh, game, and you can you can let I can let certain people do whatever they want on my farm as long as I trust them. I like the fact that uh, a game, and I think you showed me um, that you can automatically plow and water and stuff just by pressing one button. That's really nice. That's a good addition. Wouldn't we agree on that? Uh, it looks like you can't accidentally collect crops that are not ready. Is that right? Can I accidentally harvest crops that are not ready with the auto function is my question. Good. That's good then. So no more deleting by mistake other people's crops on my own, which I've done regularly. And the music sounded good. I liked the music. I told Gaiman to turn it up because I couldn't really hear it and he did and it sounded great. Oh, you can still do mass delete but with the auto function that's pointless. Yeah. What's up with the rain? What's up with the rain, Gaiman? 
Yeah, I like the music too. It sounds very um, adventurous. And I love the outside area. You know, the, the what's surrounding you, the hillsides and the mountains. It's pretty. Yeah, that auto function is a great addition. I like that because no one likes plowing. It's boring. And it's quick. Have you seen how quick those tractors jump in that game? Does it not? I thought it watered the crops too. I'm sure I saw it water the crops automatically. As you drove over it, I mean. <clears throat> yeah, the, the tractor jumps way quicker as well, which looks great, may, may I add. Oh, uh, it does. Yeah, I thought it did, Karen. It does water the crops too automatically. You I mean, you have to drive over it, but it does do it. <clears throat> oh, the rain doesn't. Okay. So the rain doesn't water your crops. Got ya. Hmm, how funny. Maybe it will. Maybe they're just testing out weather systems. It is uh, early access, I suppose. So there's going to be a couple of teething issues, I suppose. Yeah, the rain doesn't. That was intentional, but they've disabled the rain now because it was confusing. Okay, so they've turned the rain off. <coughs> they've turned the rain off. Well, you know me. I wouldn't rely on the rain to water my crops anyway. I'd have to do it myself until I've got enough medals. Have you guys seen the sprinklers at all then? What are the sprinklers doing? How do they work? Do they still cost one medal a piece? They water nine tiles. Two medals. And I only need to buy one sprinkler to water nine tiles? Do we know how big the map can get yet? Is it like bigger? Have we counted squares? Obviously it's only been two days. I don't expect you guys to have your map fully open but I know you guys keep your ear closely to the ground when it comes to gossip and things. So is the map bigger do we know? Because the tractor's doing a lot more things. So I reckon it's going to be a lot quicker. Which means you've got more time to farm stuff. And the sprinklers are cheap. So I imagine them map's going to get bigger and if not now it probably will in future 20 by 40 is that all you've got to play with you've only got a 20 by 40 map that doesn't get bigger in early access or just until you upgrade okay can you expand or is it still too early they're not, let, not letting you do that yet. I have so many questions. Okay, so quests are the only way to get medals. Well, to be honest, it's the only way in this game that you could get medals. So nothing's really changed there. <clears throat> You've done a few, so you can expand. Okay. Be interesting to know how many, how big it gets, how many squares. Because we, we know how many squares there are on this game, right? God, I imagine this is going to be quite an empty experience for Farm Together One players. <laughs> I imagine these events are not going to be, um, you're not going to see many people. Oh, you think it's exactly the same? Really? Oh, wow. Uh, to be honest, I was never in that club of this needs to be bigger. I was always happy with the amount of land I got. I think this is enough. But I do know a lot of people wanted it bigger. I'm cool with this. I think this is enough to keep you going. A lot of people never even fill a whole map up. So, yeah, size doesn't matter, Daniel. That's very true. Never a truer word uttered. Well, I hope I've not got long to wait. I really do. Because I think it's very selfish and unfair that you guys can play that game before I... Not that I'm mad at not playing this, because I obviously adore this game, and this game will just have to suffice until until we get a release on console. No, Daniel, it's not on cold console. It's just not fair, Karen. It's not fair. 
that you guys get to experience this and and I don't. But so you, I'm going to have to live through your experiences. You will be my go through. I know, Daniel. Yeah. Hopefully, it's going to get released this year, though. I have my fingers crossed that it's going to get released this year. Do we know if it's cross compatible? Have you heard anything on the grapevine about it being cross compatible? Anybody? <clears throat> I really, really, really hope it's top of their list. I really hope it's top of their list. Yeah, I think so too, Daniel. I think you're right. I think I'll have, I'll be much more knowledgeable by the time I get my little dirty mitts on it. <coughs> I think you're right. Oh, it's summer. Let's get cracking on this. I don't remember topping up for petrol and my petrol gauge seems to be full. Sweet Jesus, Karen, that's such a long way. I mean, I have a laptop. I have a laptop. Would that, like, work? I don't know how to stream on a laptop, though. <coughs> yeah, I hear it's not cheap. I hear it's not cheap to unlock uh, terraforming. I hear it's an expensive little do. I do, Daniel. That's what I've heard. I've heard terraforming it, although it's a cool idea at 30 medals. I'd be the same as you. So, so you obviously don't get to choose what your starter map is then, <clears throat> based on Daniel's comment just now. So you need to get your farm to level 30 and you need 20 medals, okay. Hmm. It'd be nice. It, it's great. It's a great addition. I love that idea. I love the idea that you can have either or and you can move things around. Because I've always wanted those big ass rocks on a flat map. I love the rocks. And uh, obviously you can't do it on this game. Does it? Level 30 takes time, does it? I don't quite understand the fish. <clears throat> I don't quite understand the fish of this grouping of them 16 only I imagine that will go up with somehow by leveling up your shop or something or levels because 16 fish ain't nothing that seems like a burden a pet like um, what does it do then take money off you or something What's the penalty? Right. Could you bunch fish up that would cover you the cost of the penalty? Hmm. Be interesting to know. I think, Karen, you know why they've done that, don't you? I mean, it's obvious to all of us why they've, they've stuck a penalty on fish. Yeah, that's exactly what they do in Exile. They know full well that we can get rich by putting a load of fish down. So I imagine it's a good thing, but 16? Really? Yeah, fishing is, you said, two seasons, right? Two seasons worth of weight, which is what, 34 minutes? Yeah, it is too easy to get fish from one tile. It is, and I guess that will stop people from actually cheesing the game. Not that I don't care. I will still play it the way I've always played it, but I've never been one for sticking a load of fish down just to get a load of money. So I, I, I can see why they've done it, and I'm not mad at it, to be honest. Exactly. Are you guys giving feedback to... to, uh, to them? To the developers? To Milkstone? Have you said anything to them? It is such a weird number. Yeah good because uh, I imagine they're gonna want to hear as much feedback as possible and I think you should it's your duty as gamers uh, to a company that's actually pretty cool um, to give your feedback and tell them what you think is wrong and right with the game and and obviously you, you have to give them pros to the game as well as cons it's very easy to give to game developers reasons why a game sucks but tell them what's good about the game too because you know, developers are still people and they obviously want to hear the good stuff. 
well, you can't really go up to them and say that, Daniel. I don't think they're gonna, it looks like uh, you're gonna have to work for a flat map, in all honesty. Looks like they're gonna make the game just a little bit more difficult, a little less cheesy-fied. No more fish farms, no more flat maps straight away. You're gonna have to work for it. No, oh, well, I, I know your pain, Daniel. I feel that pain, you know me. I love this nice symmetrical farm. I guess it'll just be me and Deb. <laughs> it'll be me and Deb playing farm together one for the foreseeable. Oh, and when you guys want to jump on and get your events done. Like now. I'm going to get as much of this put down as possible. They are considering making it easier to get a flat map once you have terraforming, like an option where you go flat and everything in one go. Hmm. So every time you terraform a section of the map, does it cost you medals or is it just a one-time purchase? I still don't quite understand how terraforming works. Does it do the whole map? Does it do sections of it? Like diamonds. Okay. Diamonds is not bad. I would too, Daniel. Now that would be the ultimate cheese, wouldn't it? Sections. Right, and every time you terraform, does the next one get like more expensive, or does it stay the same throughout each terraforming? It, a bit like opening up a section of your map, does it get more expensive the, the bigger and the more that you use it? <clears throat> Do we know? I know you guys are trying to play the game, I'm sorry, I just have questions. Okay. Has anyone spotted any crops that are taking more than two days to grow? I'm hoping to God you say yes. I'd love crops that last a week. I'd love to see a crop that's a seven dayer. Yeah, you, it's true. We, You should never worry about the look of your farm, at least until you're on your second one. You know what I mean? Or you've recycled. One day, really. Yeah, I saw the corn was like three hours. Whereas the corn in this game is two days, isn't it? Yeah, I saw that. Well, maybe they'll add it. I reckon we've got a lot of good things <clears throat> to look forward to, guys. I reckon we'll have a load of events coming up. Not me, personally, but loads of events coming up. I reckon they've got some DLC lined up as well, which is it just makes the game even better, as you well know. That's crazy that corn is like 30 minutes when it's two days here. Yeah, that game, I think that game is going to get just better and better, personally. Does anyone know if they've added beehives to any honey sort of products? Talking of chickens, Karen, um, I love the fact that they got the animals to fall asleep at night. That was a very nice touch. I, I like to see that. I've seen you can sell honey, but I don't make any yet. Okay. No milk either. Right. Really? And is it just chickens and pigs that you've got right now? Has anyone got any, any other animals that they've seen? Yeah, the nighttime thing looks really nice. Um, I hate the colour of the grass, but then again, we're going to be covering that grass up, and the grass looks better when you put things on top of it, so that could be forgiven. That grass reminded me of... Um, God, what's that grass in that game that I bloody hated? I can't think of it now. <clears throat> <laughs> Did you? How much was the cheese? How much was it, Garen? Was it in diamonds or did you use medals? Just pigs and chickens. Yeah, the fact that they sleep at night gave me a lot of joy. Seeing the tractor jump up and down quickly was beautiful. Um, seeing the auto function was amazing. And seeing those sheep, those uh, pigs and chickens sleep at night was wonderful. I loved it. What else did I watch? 
What else did I see you play a uh, game and I don't think Swifty's in chat. Um I think the the colour scheme could be better. I think the colour scheme of the village, I would like to see it with a bit more vibrancy. Do you know what I mean? Like these colours. A bit more vibrancy. It, it all looks a little bit dull right now. Is she? She's dreaming it right now, is she? Yeah, if you're on there, say say hi to her for me. Yeah, I think the colour scheme looks a bit drab. I want it to be a bit more poppier. You know what I mean? A bit more brighter, vibrant. That grass was a problem for me. It looked a bit dull and green. And I know we're covering it, but... I like this game so much because of the colours as well. They always did great work with the colour schemes. And that game... Um, Maybe needs to be pop out a bit more. <clears throat> My orange flowers ain't ready. So yeah, the, today's stream is basically going to be about talking about Really Farm Together 2. Because I just want to know everything. I want to know as much as possible. Yeah, what was that game I played, Karen, where the pig was on, where I was riding a pig on the front of the game? That I only played it a couple of times. Oh, there's going to be potential exiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the DLC and the events is going to be the potential in that game. For a start. That's just the start of it. Everdream, that's the one. It gave me the Everdream Valley uh, grass vibes. Just dark green and dull. Which wasn't, it didn't look nice. I want it to be like a cartoon, do you know what I mean? Like super bright and lush. But hey, maybe that will change by the time I get my hands on it, who knows. <clears throat> but yeah, there's definitely potential with that game and they're definitely listening and uh, wanting everyone's um, opinions. So I would, if I was you, give them freely. And by the way, chuck in there that we need it cross compatible, please. The paths looked good. I like the look of the paths. I only saw a couple. And um, running on the paths and running off the paths didn't really look as that different in speed. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but I certainly did on SRM Gamers. Two animated? No way confused. I say it's enough. I, I say it's not enough. I want it more animated. I want it more cartoony, please. Is it? Because we, we, I was looking at SRM Gaming and he would run off the path and run on the path. And there was just a slight difference, but not like in this game where it was really noticeable. <clears throat> Do you know if riding your tractor, just riding your tractor costs diesel? Can you do that without incurring like diesel usage? Oop, it's not empty. Right, so just like this then. Cool. Good to know. <clears throat> I really hope they don't try and sell me things that can cheese the game though. I really hope they stick to what they did in this game and force you to work hard. I don't want them, to, for instance, to get me a tractor that can do 18 tiles. Like, I don't want stuff like that. I don't want them to sell me a tractor that can go twice the speed. I really hope they stick to their original routes and just keep it simple and as clear and that we're all uh, at the same level pegging as possible. Really? The fuel regens over time. Why would that happen? Can anyone confirm that? Does fuel regenerate over time? I'm about to uh, lose this bloody season. Mm, I suppose it's good if you're low leveled with not much fuel. Well, that's, I suppose, a nice thing. Hopefully it doesn't refill too much then. I still want the experience of having to pull plants out at the beginning of the game by my hands. 
<clears throat> I think they realise though that that could. I, I think we talked about it before. The devs may realise that it could put a lot of people off. At the beginning of the game, we all know that at the beginning of these games, it's pretty tough, isn't it? It's pretty tough because you're not given all of this. Um, you're not given all of this fuel, and you sometimes will have to get on your hands and knees and pull stuff out one by one. That could put a lot of people off from continuing in the game. I could imagine uh, that could stop people from leaving the game, possibly. Oh, in this game you did. In this game, I remember like two or three days because I'm quite slow at this game anyway. I'm not very fast at this game, and I remember. Oh, we've got flower bouquets. We must put you down. <clears throat> I remember two or three days worth of me uh, using my hands in this game before I got my first um, gas station. I was probably figuring it out at the time too, not realizing what medals were and and the event uh, and the quests give you them like. I wasn't paying attention to things like that. I wonder how many of these I can plant. I wonder if Deb's on today. Or Naif. I wonder if she wants these. Two fifty. Plant 500. Do you guys know how many different tracks of music there are? Have you heard like many different tracks? Or just the same one on repeat? I better get some petrol. <clears throat> Exile, tomorrow I'm going to be playing um, House Flipper 2. You're going to love the house that I've done. You know, remember my big mansion, my black and white big mansion? I have drastically changed the inside, the stairs specifically. I've managed to do something beautiful with that stairs. I found... Uh, a, do you remember beyond the stairs into the garden there wasn't much there I couldn't think about how to fill in the space I have filled it in beautiful the house is actually pretty much done downstairs I've got one more room to do oh it's it's great I spent so much time on it and I've loved every second of it and that game is just wonderful oh really it's copyright free that's good Yeah, well, I've never, uh, Karen, I've actually never been copyright striked uh, on YouTube for Farm Together. Um, when I load a game up, when I upload a game, um, it always says copyright, uh, but it says that the developers or the compos composer or whatever uh, allows it to be used on YouTube, so I never get copyright striked for it. I did, yeah. I did because I thought I would have got copyright striked, but the music's allowed to be used because you're not you're not just streaming the music, you're actually streaming yourself and you're streaming content basically with your face on it. So uh, they can't really do much about that. <clears throat> and if they want the game to be promoted, uh, it's silly to to not allow it to be on YouTube. Really, I am like an advertisement for the game, along with everybody else that plays it. So. Exiled, I'd be interested to see you do a stream of Farm Together 2, just like you did with House Flipper. I'd, I'd watch it if you think about doing it. I'm sure a few of us would too. Like Deb, Deb would as well, because Deb can't play this unfortunately. Maybe you could show us like some of the new things, and, and it's pretty current as well, so you'd probably do quite well doing that. Uh, I'm going to put some of this black current down. Only if you feel like it though. Oh my 
god i have someone on my farm that's crazy someone is not playing farm together too <laughs> come on join the club mate just be me and you whoever you are i've got lots to do just help yourself get stuck in uh, have i got a gas station near me Do I? Where even are my gas stations? Over here. I need to move this. Put you in the corner for now. <clears throat> Where did I get up to? Where even was I? Oh, I was up there, look. He's gone straight for the roses, look. Straight for the big stuff. Luckily, I don't have a bonus on or I'd be pissed. Exile, there's also a lot of things in that game that can be adjusted by size. There was windows in that game that I didn't even realise could be adjusted with size. Um, I'm a fool. Just like the paintings that you can adjust to make fatter or thinner or bigger or smaller. You can do that with windows too. I've been, I found out so much just by trial and error with that game. I feel like I'm unstoppable. I feel like I could build the Empire State Building. Yeah, really. You know those um, windows that I used for my greenhouse, uh, the entrance to my house? Those square panes are adjustable, first of all, which I did not know because I my greenhouse changed in size because of the windows and I didn't realise that you could move them bigger or smaller or skinnier or fatter or longer and shorter. Oh my god, I'm about to delete my plants. I'm not paying attention. Oh my god, I've got loads to remove. Thank god. Thank god. Oh, I nearly deleted my plants. Exiled, it's not funny. Mind you, it wouldn't have been a major issue. I'd have just put them back down. It's not like I can't afford it. But yeah, um... I am awaiting with bated breath on uh, DLC for for House Flipper 2. I cannot wait to see what they give us. I cannot wait to do more quests. Uh, I cannot wait to see more stuff. Uh, thanks, Lovatic. Do you know what? It's a beautiful day in the UK today. I've been outside. I've been catching a little tan for myself. And I sit here drinking hot cups of tea. And it keeps me cool. Not lemon tea, not iced tea, just a cup of tea. How you doing, Lovatic? Lovatic, you been playing farm together too? Oh, you know what? I saw some bigger of those glass panes in a house I bought. Yeah, exactly. And I'll tell you how I thought about that exile. So you remember at the front of my big mansion, I've got glass, haven't I? Just full of glass, high and low and skinny. Well, I had to delete one of those glass panes to get behind it to paint something my paintbrush wouldn't get behind it so i had to remove it and i thought how am i going to put it back and uh and so i tried copying the opposite side and putting it in it wouldn't fit so i had to do it manually and then i looked and i read and i thought oh it's one of those glass plane uh windows hey deb we were just talking about you and um yeah it's adjustable it's great it's a great window oh so lava tick me and deb we're the ones that can't play it we're just in our little sad group on our own watching everyone else have fun but we're just going to stick with the OG I'm great Deb thanks yeah Deb did you catch up on any of the farm together too have you been watching has Nave got it have you talked about it or do you just not want to know Well, it's event day on OG Farm Together. It's Blossom event day, in fact. 
Me too, Deb. I sit there just, just like this, like Elvis. I have so many questions. These poor uh, viewers today, I've been asking them questions. Some of the times they don't even know what the answers are because I'm too far. I'm asking questions that are too far ahead. And but I hear there's potential, and that's the main thing. I hear there's potential, Deb, and uh, all good things come to those that wait. And when we get our hands on it, we'll be, we'll be very knowledgeable about the situation. Yeah, we'll just all be jealous together. Me, Lovatic, and Deb. We'll just, we'll just sit there in our own jealousy and and cry. We've got the OG. We're fine. We can, we can wait. We, we do have a long wait though. We're guessing it's going to be like a year. <laughs> We're guessing it's going to be like a year at least. Early access is six months. Today's just chat really. Chat mostly about Farm Together too. I do too. But from what I saw Exiles, I would very much be streaming that I could do a, a stream for 10 hours I don't care yeah I always stream I actually wasn't going to stream uh, I was going to stream today but not farm together but then I thought do you know what it's we, we have to continue with farm together one we don't have an option you bought what I did buy little kitty big city though so I'll be playing that later today little kitty big city what's that Sounds like a building game of with cats, Lovatic. We've made some good money on this farm. <clears throat> made about 80 million so far without a bonus. Thanks for the help, Caporo. Have you guys that have played it come across anything new regarding flowers, crops, any new vegetables or fruits, any new fish, like anything new that's that wasn't on Farm Together one? Because <coughs> we was talking about this, weren't we? And, and that this game pretty much covers <laughs> most of the flowers in the world and all of the fruits and vegetables. And I couldn't think of much else that it could add. Is there anything new, really? Huh. Fish could be easy to be new, but vegetables and fruits. I couldn't think of any that could possibly be new, like different crop variations. What do you mean by different crop variations? You mean like from wheat? Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So crops cover more of the symbols on the storage is that what you mean <coughs> I think that's what you mean the um the paths and the fences look good I've not seen anyone put a fence down yet but I did see it in their inventory looks like there's quite a lot to choose from um, what I didn't see though guys and maybe you could update me was uh, separators are separators still a thing Really, they had a different variety of potato. Well, damn. I mean, they do that here, right? How many tomato varieties have we got? Four? How many mushroom varieties have we got? Four? Potatoes on this farm is just one, but... Hmm, I guess there's a, two different black peppers. Um... Hey, love a tick. Welcome back, love. You at work today, love? Oh, good. Thank God. So that's that's made me very happy. So separators are still a thing. <clears throat> and you said that in order to get your inventory up, you have to level up shops. So are barns a thing? 
do barns give you storage? I'm guessing no. Is the answer. I'm guessing the game actually wants you to just not cheese it anymore. They found the cheesy spots. They found the storage options of barns. They found the fish options of money. They know that. They know what tricks we do. Not me personally, but they know what tricks uh, other people do to get money quick. So it looks like they're they're cutting off all of those uh, bridges basically and making you actually work for your money. <coughs> I think um, I think it's a good idea personally. I think it's a good idea. I also like the idea that there is a town. Great lover tick. You got any anything planned? You got much plans planned for your time off? Well it's Friday tomorrow, so I um I've only got tomorrow and then I'm off for the weekend. We've got another bank holiday at the end of May. I think. Deb will have to ask you that question. Don't we have another bank holiday coming up in the end of May? Maybe I can book some time off around there to play a couple of days worth of games. I think they saw those farms with a bazillion barns. And, yeah, well, we've seen barns that have covered half of maps. Yeah, I think it's a good idea. It forces you to actually farm and create a, a farm that uh, is not full of fish and barns, right? It can only be a good thing. <clears throat> okay, so you get a warehouse that you can improve for all storage. I like the idea. Oh, we do, Deb, do we? Uh, it's just a Monday, right? I'll have to find out what day that is and see if I can book a couple of days off. See if I can get five days off by using just two would be very nice. Do you guys remember if when Farm Together 1 came out, and it's very early, uh, in 2019, do you remember if events were automatically just there? Or did they gradually... Did it take them a year to start doing uh, events on this game? I forget. I don't. I don't think I can remember that far back. I'm guessing Deb. You think I'm still talking about? Really? I'm just wondering how how long you guys might have to wait for that first event. I'd be intrigued to find out. Just as much as I'm intrigued to find out when that next bank holiday is. Hey Knife. Happy Thursday, Mike. We are not on Farm Together 2 today. Farm Together OG all the way. I guess it's going to be nice for you guys to see the OG as well. Because a lot of you are not going to come back to this game for a good while, I imagine. Now you've got the... Uh, number two out so it'd be nice to reflect and see the differences in the games you know and appreciate maybe farm together one being better at some things than farm together two and vice versa i wonder if they're going to have a train i wonder so they've turned the rain off because it doesn't water the flowers. Interesting. They've not figured out the weather just yet. But once I can see the level of my crops, this is great news. That's about to level up, huh? Nice. <clears throat> and I think the first flower that you unlocked was the rose, right? 
It wasn't the red poppy, but the red rose this time. How funny. They decided to stick with red as the first flower. I think it was the red rose, right? That you unlocked? I need, I need bloody petrol. Yeah. And the red rose in this game is three days, I think. Top of my head, I think it was three day growing time, or maybe two. Gas stations are smaller. Yeah, they look like the back of a truck. Do you know how many squares they are, Exiled? In 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 uh, width and diameter and stuff. What should I put down? Peas. Knife, have you played it? Are you here, Knife? Have you played Farm Together too yet? No. Have you? Are you going to? Do you have the option to be able to play it? I forget what, what console what you use to play games on. <clears throat> oh, so three squares, is it? I think they're three squares long, aren't they, the gas stations, the small ones? Really? Well, we're going to have a long wait, Nath. I reckon it's going to be a year, mate. Over a year. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, maybe, maybe I could, if I'm desperate, I do have the option of using my laptop, but I, I don't know how to stream via my laptop because I've never done it before. Unless I plug my PlayStation into the laptop, I don't know how that works. Oh yeah, me too, Nave. Hopefully it will be sooner, but um, Karen, like Karen said, Early access is six months long, which is going to take us up to, what, Christmas? November? I can't see it being this year. <clears throat> So, so next year, I mean six months from now is, is what, October, right? That'd be a great Christmas present if we could get it before Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Uh, we'll use these, but let's pass to meet you. That's nice. Whoever that person was that came on my farm actually ploughed too. I usually turn that off to stop people from doing it because I always feel guilty. I don't really want people to plough. I know it's a lot of wasting time. I usually turn that setting off. I obviously did not on this farm. <clears throat> I've still not heard any updates on um, Power Wash Simulator. I've not heard any DLC release from that. Neither. But next week, don't forget, guys, it is um, seven days, seven different games. So I'm actually streaming every single day next week from Monday onwards all the way up to Sunday. But the streams will only be an hour and a half long. I do need to get a, a Dreamlight Valley in one of them. I think I think I already have one. Um, and there's a couple of new games that I've got that I want to try out as well. Uh, next week, on my schedule, if anyone is interested, my schedule is up for next week. Uh, seven days, seven different games. And not different games as in new. I mean, there are some new games spread about in there. But, um... 
So I'm going to try... Well, I ain't going to try. I'm just going to do uh, seven days worth of gaming. Uh, you know, usual time. Seven till half eight, though, this time. Monday to Friday. And um, I don't know if there's any games in there that you've been wondering about. There, I doubt it because a couple of the games... I think one of them is like... Um, the world is fucked, basically. And you are trying to save it by... I don't know, bringing plants back to life and things. I don't know, one, one of those sorts of games. And then one of them was... One of them was what? What was that one? Oh, oh. Well. We put them up anyway. <clears throat> oh, one of them is Lake. Um, that's been sitting in my gaming uh, storage for a while now that I've never gotten to. Uh, it's a game called Lake Choices and Decisions. A woman moves from the city to the country in America, and I don't know, it's kind of story driven. So, I wanted a week's worth of getting to a few games that, uh, that I like the look of. Why is winter so bad? I hate winter in this game. Winter sucks in this game. <clears throat> I'm going to go see what my warehouse wants. Whatever it wants, I have. Ugh, yeah, you got a point. It sucks in um, Coral Island as well. That's a game I've not played in a while. Uh, you want mushrooms? Take them. Okay, we need nearly 6,000 fruit. What level are you? 129. Leveling up too badly. Let's go feed our farm hands. By the way, guys, have you seen farm hands in that game at all? Anyone seen farm hands in that game? <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Are you guys worried that they're not going to make an entrance? Do you think they'll definitely be there at some point? I imagine they've got a lot of work to do with farmhands because farmhands do quite a lot in this game and uh, if it's a new game they might they might be a bit iffy. They might have to rework it. If they can't get the weather right right now, getting a farmhand to do something is going to be quite tricky. I'd have thought. Yeah, good. It really, these, this game does need farmhands to be honest. They said they wanted to change how they work and want to do it right. Well, good, yeah. If they want to get it right, then uh, take all the time you need in it. You've still got the game to play until the meantime. <clears throat> I wonder if they'll still be doing um, 13 by 13 squares. I wonder if they'll make them any bigger or smaller, or if you can only buy 15 or more. I wonder how you'll feed them. I wonder how you pay them to work. It's just questions, isn't it? Questions after questions. And we don't really know the answers to it just yet. I do feel like they have tried to remove all the ways. Yeah, I do too. I agree, Exile. That's what I was saying earlier. I think um, getting all that cheese fest out of the way stops people and actually forces you to think of strategies and ways of doing the game correctly. It can only be a good thing because how many farms have we been on where it's just fish or barns? 
you know what I mean? The game gives you more than enough money to, to not have to worry about money and you know until you want to upgrade your tables that is I mean you don't need all that money it's just greedy and, it, and your farm looks shit basically your farm looks shit and it looks lazy I'm glad that they've done it too you've got my vote Mil Milkstone yeah we need more decorations we need way more decorations we and we need way more decorations for houses too because this this even with the DLC um I don't think there's enough decorations for houses in this game. I know I'm not. I don't want there to be three thousand items. I'm not being unreasonable, but this game suffers with uh, inside the house. I'm talking about. Uh, it really does suffer with not much to use in a house to make each one different. If you're going to give me twenty houses, you're going to have to give me enough items to make each one look different, and there's just not enough outside on the farm. I am not too fussed about the decoration part of this game. This game at least. This game I never thought there wasn't enough decorations outside. I thought there was more than enough with the DLC. Without the DLC it would have been terrible. <clears throat> I hope to God they change if the greenhouse is in there. I hope it's a nice looking greenhouse this time and not the one in this game because I've always hated that object. Um, I've always hated the bread oven. You will never see one of those bread ovens on, a, on, on my farm because I hate them so much. Um, I don't think there's anything much else I, I don't like in this game, object-wise. I don't like the fountains. I'm not, I'm not one for the fountains in this game. But then I'm not sure if it's because I don't like it or I just don't like them. They're pretty big space it'd be nice to see the plant pots returning and it'd be nice to see different sort of sized plant pots too in this game instead of just the ones that look quite flat it'd be nice to see a vase with flowers in you know maybe they could uh, add an object like that like an urn or something I can stick a flower in. Maybe I've been playing too much house flipper. But that's my that's my hope. You guys will have to keep me updated because you will know way before I do. I'm kind of hoping that you guys don't get events before we get our hands on it. I hope we can all experience the events together. And that that's something that's going to come way later. I have a lot of pepper. I have a lot of spice in this storage. I need to get rid of some. There's one. I'm just waiting for this season to end. It gets rid of 180. I thought it got rid of double that. Obviously not.
<clears throat> Did you guys say as well that you couldn't choose your uh, gender in that game? Like the gender was just an automatic option. And that you had to leave the game and go back to the main page to change gender. Because uh, didn't someone say that, that a lot of people were struggling to get uh, a male? And that most people were getting female as the option. Hey Poppins, happy Thursday. How's it going, love? You alright? <clears throat> Good to hear. The docs, the doctor fixture. Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Yeah, we're all a bit gutted that we, some of us, can't play farm together too. But we'll manage. We'll be fine. Let's get some petrol. We'll be all right. We'll have to continue playing the OG until we get it. Good. I'm, I'm glad that they uh, finally solved the riddle of the issues that you've been having. I'd have made so much more money had I've grabbed a bonus first. Poppins, are you, um, do you have the option of getting farmed together too? Do you play on um, PC as well, or I forget? I know you're Xbox mainly. Really? Is that what the doctor said? Oh dear. Yeah, me too. So you're in you're in the camp with uh, with me. Me, Deb, and Lovatic, and you. <laughs> We're the four that can't play it right now. So we're going to have to sit here and moan about it to each other. Like I said, unless I get my laptop out and figure out how to do it on that, but I wouldn't have a clue. I know. It's going to be a good while, Pop. It's going to be at least six months. At least six months. <clears throat> unless Milkstone can pull the fingers out their asses and get it done a bit quicker. I know, right? We've got other games to play in the meantime. We can, we'll, we'll live, we'll be fine. I wonder why these orange flowers are ready and the others weren't. It certainly looks different, doesn't it? Certainly looks like they've added some new stuff to it. We've been talking about it today. We've, it's been an hour and ten minutes so far. So we've been chatting mostly about Farm Together 2 and the changes and the upgrades and the, the small little minute details. <clears throat> but I will watch some more, for sure. I saw... Um, uh, <clears throat> Swifty 
Swifty played it and then I jumped on and watched uh, SRM Game and I'm hoping that uh, at some point um, Exile decides to do a little stream of it as well. I'd like to see that up on YouTube. Yeah. I'd like to see Exile give it a go. Do a little voiceover and tell us what's going on and what's changed and what's new. Because now's the time to do it when it's nice and early. <coughs> now's the perfect time to do that. <coughs> I think it would get views as well. I think, um, like Swifty was saying, she got like, like 1.20 viewers. She's quite a lot for her, she said. Yeah, me too, Exiled. Me too. I just don't know how it works. I don't know if I've got enough ports in my laptop to figure out how to do the PlayStation and camera and all that weirdness. Yeah, me too, ex uh, Poppins. I would too. Just know we would get at least two, two viewers, Exiles. At least two. And we'll probably watch it all as well. Hey Spanky, happy Thursday Mike. <clears throat> Spanky, have you been on Farm Together too? Are you still on uh, Hotel Renovator? Nice. Yeah, I do too, uh, Naif. I saw that. No, so you're you're in our camp then, along with Naif, Deb, Poppins, Lovatic, and me. I saw that the paths also follow the contours of the landscape as well. It's very nice touch. <coughs> I also like the look of the paths as well, and I'm happy that they've added um, separators too. Hi, Uncle. Happy Thursday, mate. Just talking about farm together too, eh? And how long we've got a bloody wait for the for us to be able to play it. Yeah, it does look clean. There are a couple of little hiccups that people have come across. I, I still wish that it was a bit brighter, a little bit more vibrant. The greens are a bit dull for me. I like I like my farm together to look cartoony. Where are you, Uncle? Where are you in the world? Or in which state? I'm guessing you're working in the army right now. <clears throat> you done on Hotel Venerator, are you? I don't know if I'm going to go back to that game. I think now... <laughs> Now I've played uh, House Flip, but I don't know if I can go back to Hotel Renovator. Lovely game, though. Had a good, you know, 10, 8 streams. But I think, um, I think I've, well, I haven't only got room for one sort of renovation game. I'm sure uh, there'll be another one that pops up at some point, but I'm, I'm really into House Flipper too much right now. To Jersey. We slept in the rain last night. Some people got destroyed by mosquitoes so bad they were swollen. <laughs> Damn, they made you sleep in the rain. Didn't you even have a tent or something? I guess you have to, like, sleep because it's training. It does sound horrible, Poppins. Have you, do you know how itchy a mosquito is to be bitten by? Yeah. You should be you should be very happy exiled. I would be. Yeah, it can only serve you well to get in early with those sorts of games, just so you don't feel as overwhelmed at some point. Because some some games sometimes this can make you feel overwhelmed, but once you play it for so long, you just know it inside out. Like it's not going to happen. <clears throat> Same with House Flipper too. There's so many things going on, it's like, ooh, it just feels a bit too much. But getting in early with there's less content and stuff is the perfect way to get used to a game, in my opinion. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> Five days. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I could not shower for five days. I woke up uh, yesterday, um, Uncle, and I had no cold water. Uh, I had no hot water, sorry, because I shower every morning before I leave for work. That's my routine. It's my daily routine. And uh, if you take the shower away from me and I have to go to work, and I obviously had a wash, but I couldn't shower. I felt dirty the whole day. It was horrible. So to do five days is uh, is not for me, unfortunately. I'm not in. Not for me, my my darling. I'm not. I'm not. I, I mean, the country. I love you dearly, but <laughs> I'm not unwashing for five days for you. Sorry. Damn, you can't even use a wet wipe or something. No wonder you can't wait to get home. It sounds like torture. It sounds like absolute torture. Me too, Exiled. Me too. Every day without fail, I wash my hair, which I'm not supposed to do, but I have to because it's greasy if not. And uh, to go to work and just use a flannel uh, and, a, and a sink um, is not good for me. And it really, I, I'm a creature of habits, so I have my habits of doing it every morning. And when you mess my habit up, it kind of ruins my day. I don't know if I'm a bit OCD like that. Yeah, you should do that, Uncle. Wipe yourself down. Give, just give yourself a lick with a with a flannel. Well, you are supposed to shower every other day. It's not healthy to shower every day, right? Your skin needs the oils, the natural oils, and the same with your scalp. I think your scalp secretes oils that cleans your hair, actually. I just don't like it. I don't like to feel oily and definitely don't like to feel sweaty, so... Yeah, yeah, exactly. It does. It does. You, it does your skin no favors. So uh, you right now, uh, <laughs> Uncle, are probably glistening with body oil, but you can keep your body oil. I'll keep my shower. Thank you very much. Yeah. Me too. I, I could not wait. I can't tell you, Exiled. I could not wait yesterday to just get home so I could get in the shower. I didn't have conversation for people. I, thank God I didn't stream. Mind you, I would have showered before streaming. But I didn't have conversation with people. I didn't want anyone to see me with greasy hair. Like, it was stupid. But I just felt like a dirty, filthy hobo. <clears throat> Where you live and what you do for work is that depends on the people of the shower. I have no idea what you just meant, confused. Confused, you've made me confused. Yeah, I work in an office, so I'm not even going to be sweaty and stuff, but Uncle's like working for the country outside, like manly stuff. He's going to need a shower. Everyone's loving Farm Together too right now, Uncle. It's what we've been talking about today. Yeah, if it gets too hot, I have to do... Like, we had a sunny spell last year, didn't we, where it was just boiling. You couldn't even move without sweating. I would shower like two to three times. That didn't work very well, Confused. I had no idea what you meant, my darling. Try again. Try it again, confused. Sit down this time and take your time for God's sake. We've had one little visit today on the farm, which is surprising. I thought most people would have been playing Farm Together too, But no, there was a solitary person on Farm Together 1 that came and visited and, and did a couple of things on the farm, which I'm grateful for. And hopefully they sign the register. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if you if you're doing manual labor work, you really do need to shower every day. But again, it's it's sometimes it's just not good for you, you know. Like um, Uncle said. Yeah. Why are my fishermen not fishing? Where am I? On there. My farm hands. He's not fishing. Oh, someone is. Hold on. Ignore me. I was just about to fire them. I was just about to fire my farm hands. For not fishing. But they did. <clears throat> it's all right, Uncle. You can you can wait. You've waited five days. I'm sure you can wait just a little longer till you get into your own home, and then you can like even have a bath. Add some add some bubbles to the bath. Like make the most of it. S stick some candles around and stuff. I would. That's all I would be thinking about. Is getting home and getting out of my dirty clothes and in a lovely hot bath. If you've got a bath, that is. <laughs> yeah. So, Uncle, is, do they do that to make you um, get used to not having like home comforts and stuff? Is that what they do it for? To make you sleep out in the rain because you might have to one day or survival or you're going to have to get used to not having a shower for five days because you're in the forest and lost I don't know is that what it's all about getting you used to not having comforts like that because there's no way I could sleep in the rain unless they covered me with a tarpaulin that was like waterproof I could probably sleep like that then But not wet. There's no way I can get wet and sleep. That would wake me up. <clears throat> I'm nearly level 201. Who knew? I need some fruit as well. I might have to go get some with my gold nuggets. <sighs> I have to get some of my gold nuggets. By the way, is gold nuggets a thing in Farm Together too? Does anyone know? Is gold nuggets a thing? Has anyone got one? Has anyone got lucky enough to just have one pop up? Is it in your storage? We do military exercises to practice field work for in case we have to go somewhere where we don't have any of the comforts. Like if we deploy to the Pacific somewhere, we won't have showers. So it trains us to live in the fields and to work outside comfort zone. Yeah, thought so. That makes sense. No, not seen anything to do with gold nuggets, really. Maybe again, maybe that's a thing that they may add in further future updates so you definitely haven't seen it in um, in your storage at all no gold nugget symbol nothing like that why not uncle what's your specific job then are you like paramedic or something are you in the health profession of the army because I saw the video the other day of you like that you were video recording your boys jumping out of planes and parachuting down, right? Weather man, what does that entail as a job? I'm intrigued. Why would you need to be the weather man? Because you guys, your bases automatically have weather stuff, right? And it's very uh, accurate as well. Probably more accurate than the government's one. Probably more accurate than the weather channels. Instruments. <clears throat> I know over here the American bases have their own weather stations. On base. Like Lake and Heath. 
RAF Lake and Heath. Hmm. Yeah, you got a point. If your job is a weatherman, why are you outside trying to sleep under rain? If your job doesn't really is not really going to entail that. I guess it gains respect from the other boys, right? Like you're in with them. No, no gold symbol nuggets in storage, okay. Maybe they're getting away done with gold nuggets, maybe. Maybe the gold nuggets are not a thing anymore and they're going to force you to not be able to... I mean, what about the shop, Exile? Is there a shop, maybe, that trades gold nuggets for things? We can go to all army and air force bases on the global system, which are certain things. We have two space observatories, really? Damn. I know, I thought that too, Spanky. I saw that. There's only two animals right now, chickens and pigs, but yeah, I saw that they also sleep at night. Pilots need weather briefings prior to every mission. Yeah. So Uncle's a weatherman, eh? Who knew? <clears throat> Is that the official title you have, weatherman? Or do you have like a, a, a more specific title for a weatherman in the army? Like, I don't know, wind tracker or something. I have a lot of flowers. CR weather journeyman. Ooh. Imagine that on your CV. What's your job? The CR weather journeyman. Cool. CR. What does CR mean? CR. What could CR mean? Corporal. Are you a corporal? CR stands for contingency response, meaning if something happens around the globe, our unit goes to that place to open an airbase. Contingency response. Sounds very impressive. I imagine they only need one of you though, right? I imagine they only need one weatherman at any given time. Eight separators, really. Have you seen them all exiled? Do they look pretty? Or are they hidden and behind a, 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 a shadow? Oh, to unlock. So you've not unlocked them yet. I wonder what they look like. Eight separators. It's probably how, how many there are in the base game of this, to be honest. Eight. Four of them are wood. Two ideally, one for each 12 hour shift, but my career field does three times eight hour shifts. I'd rather have do an eight hour shift than a 12. <clears throat> Carl, most of the people in this chat are playing it. There's only a select few that are not. Not by choice, neither. The buggers. Making me all jealous and stuff. Yeah. I can tell you it's easier for me to tell you who's not playing Farm Together 2 than who is. Uh, so me, Poppins, uh, Lovatic, Deb, and Naif so far. Us five. Did it? Was that five or was my maths terrible? Yeah. And si Confused? Yeah, Confused is not playing it neither. I'm not sure why though. Confused, are you not playing it because you don't want to or because you, you don't have the means to? 22 flowers, right. 22 flowers is not much. There's like double that in this game. I swear in this game there's like 53? 
Ah, okay, yeah. So Confused is in the same boat as the rest of us not playing it. Uh, we just have console. Uh, I'm going to add all of them, including the event flowers. 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. 66 flowers in this game. 66 flowers. So currently they're a third of the way. 22 times 3 is 66, isn't it? So this game has triple the flowers. Uh, what did I need for this again? The water graphics, by the way. Beautiful. The water graphics in Farm Together 2 uh, are, are amazing. I always look at water graphics in games. I'm always intrigued by what they're going to look like. And uh, that didn't disappoint. Uh, the water graphics in 2 are lovely. Lovely colour. Looks pretty real to me. Uh, what did I need? Is it 4,000? 6,000. Sweet Jesus. Let me just go get the 6,000. Wait, what am I on? 3, 3.5. Three I need 2,500 more. Well, I ain't going to get them from there. I ain't got enough gold nuggets to get them. Damn, you're going to force me to do trees? I need a thousand more. Uh, let me get my peril. <clears throat> yeah, Farm Together 2 looks very smooth as well. I, uh, I was very pleased with how smooth it looked. Oh, you are ready. Yes. It just looks drab. I want them to spruce up the colours a bit. That's all I want, really. Is to spruce up the colours. Make it pop, like, like in this game. I'm just a bit sad as well that I'm not there for the beginning of that game. like I was for this game I'm, I'm not going to be there to experience it like everybody else is I guess that makes me a bit sad was it well I didn't know that back then I wasn't really a, a streamer but I just played the game but it certainly felt new to me <laughs> what month did it come out Karen on PC do you know because it wasn't wasn't it February 2019 this came out on console it was like a year before COVID hit I think it feels much older though well, I guess I never did experience this game from the start, then. Give me all this fruit. I need 6,000 fruit in my storage as we speak. To get this uh, warehouse leveled up. So it was five months. five months before we got it on console for the first game that would be great if they could match that again <laughs> we can get this in August it would be wonderful In um, in October, 
in October 2018 was a full release. I see what you mean. So obviously because your version is not full release it's going to take that bit longer, that much longer. Karen, have you heard anything about it being cross-compatible yet? Anything new? I really, really, really would like to go on all of your farms at some point. And uh, the only way that's going to happen is if it's cross-compatible. Um, apart from Switch, unfortunately, Switch uh, won't be getting cross-compatibility. So I heard, anyway. Why have I got so much coconut trees? Damn. They're really low leveled as well. <clears throat> Let's all just keep our fingers and toes specifically crossed. <sighs> that it's cross compatible at some point in the future. Coconuts. A lot of coconuts. I don't know why. I don't know why I've got so many coconut trees and they're really low levels as well. Okay, we're halfway of getting <clears throat> 6,000 fruits. I need another 500. I know. Yeah, I think so too. I think the Switch <clears throat> original... No, that is not going to get a uh, cross compatible but switch to I think they will they will try to get it on that <laughs> what you're joking uncle you douchebag how long have I got of this five minutes right yeah so 39 2039 I'm going straight back on this bloody tractor uncle <clears throat> Uncle, I've already had to do this today once. Confused did it. And now you're doing it too. It's okay, let's zoom in. 28 trees, really? Uh, let me have a look. <coughs> you two are naughty. Uh, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60, 60. 62 trees 62 trees damn I didn't realize there was that many trees in this game you know I didn't think there was as much trees as there are plants at least uh, 18 fish we all know that this is early access right so they're gonna add more I'm sure to the roster of vegetables and stuff we know they will. I'm just interested to know, like, what fruit and vegetable are new. What fruits and vegetables and, and not really fish, because the fish is very open to... I mean, they could have added prawns or something. I don't know. But the, the fruit and vegetables in this game, I think they covered quite a lot. And I couldn't really think of much more that they could have done. But there are new fruits and vegetables, because you guys have told me so. So I'd... I'd be interested to know what, what's new. Not flowers. Uh, again, fish and flowers, they could add so much more flowers <clears throat> on the roster. I'm glad you guys are telling me. Lentils? I don't even know what lentils look like. I mean, lentils as in... The actual, like, where it comes from, uh, from the ground. Like, what do lentils even look like? I'm glad you did that, actually, because I am bloody hot. Oh, I like to eat lentils. I just don't know what they look like, lentils. Like, as, as, a, as, a, as a fruit or a vegetable that looks... Is it on a tree? Does it grow in the ground? Like, 
Where does it, where does it, what does it look like? I'm gonna have to look at that. So lentils is new. There was something else that was, that is not in this one. That could have been in the second one. Um, what did I say the other day? There's broccoli and cauliflower. There's potato. Celery? No, celery's in this. Celery's in this, not celery. Damn, there was something I thought of. Oh, I can't think. I've got two more minutes of this bloody picking with my own hands. <clears throat> I do have a tiny little fan. It's actually not that tiny, it's quite big. It's quite big. I should do one where I get to show my feet. That would be nice. For me, not for you guys, but for me. You are saving your fool, but I have unlimited resources on Google. This is not a farm that's new, mate. This is a well-established farm that has oil roots and connections. We are not lacking oil anytime soon. I've got one more minute of getting these stupid olives. I love these trees though, these trees are cool. I don't think olive trees look like this though. The olive trees that I've seen in Italy are not this big. You keep telling yourself that, Uncle. People must be joining this stream wondering what the hell is going on. Why is he? Oh, thank God. Get me, get me back on this. No, don't delete the tree. Give me back my pink tractor. And he came here for bloody fruit. Yeah, that game is going to be great for um, DLC and events. Unlocking new stuff like that is going to be so good. And imagine we have... I, I don't remember how many events there are in total in this game. But there's a good bloody few, right? And they're going to do the exact same in that game, I'm sure of it. There's going to be event section in, in the village. You know where a tent shows up. You know the games that I'm talking about where the tent shows up once a month with all these magical items that you could get. I think it's going to be something like that. It's going to be an event tent. That's what I'd call it. An event tent. You just rock up. And uh, I'm going to go get these blossoms. Just because it is blossom event. And, and it is ready. Oops, I'm stuck. That's what I think is going to happen anyway. I wish they gave us more of these trees. <clears throat> I don't think you can, Uncle. Not for at least five minutes, anyway. Or is that half an hour? I forget. I might have to change that bloody thing. To every half hour or something. <laughs> if you've got pent up aggression, you just need to do what every other male does in the whole country. Oh, what a douchebag. What a douchebag. Someone ban Carl for me, will ya? Ban him from the stream. Forever. Ultimate lifetime ban. Mm. I'll just do my flowers then. I'll just do my hibiscus flowers. And confused as well. Confused and, and Uncle are, uh, are troublemakers. They're as thick as thieves, the pair of them. All they talk about is pie. I like these flowers. These can't stay here though. These, these are not good here. <laughs> I'm going to be sending you a letter confused, just like your neighbours do. Complaining about your garden. What can I farm that's not a tree that gives me fruit? I know, I know. You could do that twice. 
Oh, we need to we need to stop that from happening straight away. You could do that twice. I literally have nothing to farm. <laughs> You've literally stopped me from playing the game. You buggers. There is nothing I can farm. All the flowers are done. All I have is stupid trees left. I guess I could go cash in some stuff. Oh, I do. You're right. Yeah, this is just a, a, a chat and stream today. From now on, it's just a stream where we chat. Where are all my shops? Why am I acting like... I don't know what that means. Confused and Kyle can't say what. Oh, hang on. There's something up here I can do. <clears throat> oh, that's a tree. Uh, flowers. 15,000 of them. Which words, though? What can't I say? Where's my flower? Here. Oh, I can't say those two names. Okay. That would be horrible. I couldn't imagine not using my in-game camera. Mind you, I could just do this. <clears throat> You've abused your powers, guys. You've abused your powers, and now Twitch is saying no more. Twitch are basically on my side. Now you're gonna hear this ding-a-ling-a-linging for ages. At least 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, you've abused the powers that you were given. You see what happens when you uh, give people a little bit of power? They abuse it. And now look what's happened. They've now banned you from using it again. Not limitations. Abuse of power. You are one of those um, guinea pigs that were in trials to see what you would do if you were given power of authority over prisoners and you abused the prisoners as you were given power it's exactly the same as this they've took the powers away from you two now they said no more I just got rid of so many flowers by mistake because I wasn't paying attention and I bet you that bloody warehouse <coughs> is going to ask for flowers next and I just sold 15,000 of them. Oh yes, Confused, you're top of the list. You're top of the troublemaking list. <coughs> Carl was never like this until he met you. You two are Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> I've got so much in this game can I start trade can I just do I can now start doing trees again right oh thank god is that it how many can I get Karen is it just four I know uncle I'm playing is it just four that I can that people can do I don't even know I don't even know what I've done <laughs> Karen's paused it <laughs> Thanks, Karen. <laughs> I thought there was a limit. I thought there was like at least a five minute gap before you could do it. I didn't know you could do two at once. What could stop anyone from just going, you can't move? Yeah, I, I thought the cooldown was longer. I did not know you could do like two at the same time. They double teamed me. It double teamed me, the buggers. Uh, what? Oh, this is fruit. Good. I'm still no closer to getting this fruit done. Maybe I'll have to do it next time we come back on. Karen never left. Karen's always been here. Karen's been here the whole stream today, ain't you, Karen? Nice. 
I needed that gold nugget. Uh, I want to go get those trees, those special trees. These ones. I like these trees. <clears throat> How swifty, Karen? Is she still uh, streaming? Oh, I thought you would have, like, had two up or something. I don't know if you can do that. Uncle, when are you next uh, streaming? Have you got any plans? I know obviously when you get back home, but uh, when are you next streaming? <clears throat> and I love the, get that the fact that the game is forcing me to... Um, farm trees now. He knows I hate them so much. Bloody farming trees. I'm like 250 away. Could I get that from these nine nuggets? Does anyone know? <sighs> I've still got so much diamonds left. It's always nice to get rid of a big old bunch of them, and using a uh, uh, leveling up my warehouse does the trick. Does the trick wonderfully. Do I have enough? Need you. <laughs> no. Yes, it does. I do have enough. Hey. That's a nice little way to finish this stream by leveling up the warehouse three times in one stream. Don't give me honey. Don't ask for jam. Please don't ask me for cheese. Thank God it was eggs. Right, guys, I'm off. I will be back tomorrow with um, House Flipper 2. Oh, I'm hot. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Weekend is ever closer. Thanks for keeping me company and thanks for updating me with Farm Together too. I still have questions, but I will ask you as we further get along and as further as you level up, because you ain't going to know the answers until you level up at some point. Um, what did you just say? 12 shops. Thanks for keeping me company, guys. See you soon, Carl. See you, Karen. Thanks for modding and exiled and everybody else. Have a good rest of your Thursday. Woo!